Hey guys, welcome back to the Unfiltered Gamer product review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Abaton's Animals by Bullseye. Abaton's Abaton's er her. Lave utrolige konstruktioner. Abaton's konkurrerer med dine venner i sjove turneringer. Skyd og vind. Abaton's find de spektakulære Abatoner er guld. Du kan samle på otte forskellige stammer. Abaton's fra Panini. Abaton's can have 35 different unique toys to collect. This is actually going to be a product in which you'll be buying different packs of little guys, and you're going to be getting two of them them per pack and they look kind of like this. If you remember uh, Crazy Bones from not too long ago, they're going to be these little plastic figures, but with these they're going to actually attach stickers from the front end and the bottom end in which you're going to be playing different games. There's a plethora of different mini games that involve connecting them and putting them together like this and trying to hold them with your finger to flicking them across the field and trying to knock your opponent's abatons down. The games are going to be uh, different simple games that are used for kids uh, purposes, but you can play with a family as well. Let me go ahead and show what they look like as well as what you're likely to get in a pack and a couple of the games games which are included in the game Abatones. So here are Abatons, and as you can see, I have a plethora of them. They gave me a couple packs to show you guys, and each pack is going to come with two different unique Abatons that are either going to range from regular, which is a common type, or to a rare or even a super rare type. The rares are going to look like this. They have a gold-plated aspect to them, and the super rares are going to look like this. They have a sparkly, see-through looking aspect to them. And they're randomized, so you don't know what you're going to get in each pack. And they have an assortment of different types of Abatons, as you can see. You've got things like the um, parrot over here, or even a camel. This is a monkey and you got a penguin and they have 30, 36 of them I believe where you can have different kinds and so you're going to be getting these packs and with these packs comes different games and as you can see with this big rule book it tells you that it comes with the collectible sticker and stickers are put on the back end of these guys and the top end of these guys and it'll show you different abilities that they're going to be having. You'll also notice on the side of these guys there's going to be little pits that will show you uh, like dice so you can actually roll these guys and uh, count the pits so this is going to be a two you can roll these guys just like a normal die but there is a plethora of different games. You've got the Tower Numbers game, this one here is the Triple Domino game, the Abaton Football game, and uh, this one Double Hold, and there's other games too as uh, you can look up on the website. But enough to where you can play, and depending on the type of game you want to play, it can be a dexterity based game or more of a strategic game, this will have included in any uh, game, any of the Abatons you're going to get. You probably need about seven of these guys, so maybe about four packs of them, and the packs range about three to four dollars a piece. So let's go ahead and talk about a couple of the games you can play with these guys here. So let's talk about a couple of the games which you can play with Abatons. The first thing you can look at is the Tower Numbers game, and it tells you how to do it, as well as the start and the rules. Determine who starts by throwing a die, and you just roll one of the Abatons, and it'll tell you what number comes up. And then after that, you're going to be placing towers. And how that works is the next player in line is going to roll on the die and determine how many Abatons you need to place up on these stacking towers. If your tower drops, you're going to be out, and you're going to go around in circle until everybody has dropped their tower, except for the person who is left remaining. Another game you're going to be able to play is called Trip domino and this one is more complex it's going to tell you uh, take seven abatons from a pile uh, and then leave the remaining ones uh, throw the die decide who goes first place an abaton that has a side of the same value next to the one that has the side as well so a five will go with a five and the six will go with a six and so on and so forth and you're going to try and score points as you place the abatons down game three is actually abaton football which is similar to crazy bones which you're going to stack uh, put three abatons in front of you your opponent will have three as well and you'll be using one as kind of like a football to flick and you'll be hitting your other abatons down and so if you can knock all of your opponents down before they can you're going to win the game. Uh, game four is double hold. This one's pretty cool. It's actually going to involve you grabbing abatons just like this and placing them and putting your fingers down and if you can do that for a couple seconds then your opponent will do that. Then the next turn you're going to do three of them and you're going to pick them up and try and hold them ah, without falling and if you can do that you go on to the next one until you finally drop. Whoever has the hold of the most abatons down at the same time as the winner. Here we got four of them there and that was basically the idea of that one. We've got the bullseye game, which you're going to make a little bullseye target in uh, on the table. The middle is going to have 50, 25, and 10, and you're going to flick them and try and get them into spots after you've run out of abatons and so is your opponent. You're going to score points to who has the most. Take down. This is where it's actually going to have multiple towers. You're going to be flicking them to try and uh, knock the towers down to score points. And there's other ones on the website as well. But basically it's a bunch of mini games that involve these little plastic tower figurine figures. Let me go and show you a couple of them in detail 
channel on the uh, floor below and which I'll do a couple games. So we're going to go ahead and look at Abaton's football and as you can see there's going to be three Abatons on one side representing goalposts and three on this side for me. You're also going to get a ball, each player will get one, and there's going to be uh, a, well, a player and there's going to be a ball in the middle. You're going to try and flick your character to hit this guy here, knocking him into the one of the goalposts. If you can do that you're going to score a goal. If it goes on this side this player can throw the ball back in. If it goes outside here too far away you put it back into the middle. And so I'm going to try and do it if I can to try and shoot. Now I have to shoot behind these goalposts in this little area over here. Ah, oh, I didn't make it. So it's going to stay here now because it's so close. It actually go three finger lengths or uh, finger lengths towards uh, the middle here. And the next player is going to get a shot. And you're going to be pushing the ball. The player is trying to hit. Nope, no good. And so that's kind of the idea, right? Of just trying to knock the ball into going into the goalposts. Another game is going to be the stacking one here, in which you're going to take the abatons like this. I think you need a stacking of three each. And it's kind of like those carnival games in which you're going to be trying to throw your abaton to knock down the other ones. And you just simply take a ball of each for each player and throwing them. Ah, there we go. And this player is going to try as well, knocking a couple of them over. And back and forth they're going to go until all of the abatons have been knocked down. And if you look, there's also the triple domino. These ones you're going to be placing down, trying to match them, and you're going to be using these sides here. And how you see different sides here, right? Like this one's going to be like the more of a stat side, and this is the dominoes. You try and match like sides to them, scoring points that way. And let's go ahead and look at another one really quick here. Uh, the game takedown. This is the double hold one, where you're going to start by taking two, putting it like that, and moving up. Your opponent will take two as well, oh. and then you will go with three, putting them next to each other as best you can, and then four, and it's going to get more and more increasingly difficult, so this is more of a dexterity game. Let's try and go with something really crazy here. How about this one right here, putting them all nice. All right, can I do this many? Uh, uh, three, two, one, no problem. And yeah, there's other games you can play here, but these are the basic idea of the style of games you can be playing with Abaton's animals. Okay, so what do I think about Abatons? Well, firstly, this game instantly reminded me of Crazy Bones when they asked me to check the game out. And I like Crazy Bones. I loved it as a kid. I like collecting things. I enjoy trying to pull things out of a bag and a booster pack, and that's going to be enjoyable for certain people. However, it can be a little addicting, especially if you want to try and collect them all, because you never know what you're going to get. We opened probably about 20 packs here, and we got all kinds of different guys. There's a bunch of different animals and then there's different styles of rarity you can get. The gold is a nice little touch to it. As you can see with this guy here, he's fully gold plated. And then the super rare, which is looking like this here, which is pretty cool too. He's see-through, I like that. But overall, they're basically plastic pieces. They're sturdy, they work really well, and they come with stickers that you're gonna put on the front and the back. Make sure that you try and put them on correctly. I made a mistake of doing that the first time. It's pretty easy to not do incorrectly, but I messed up once anyway. And the games are fun. Uh, they're going to be more for kids, though, right? Like, it's something that's probably going to be, uh, you're going to want to play with either your kids specifically, or you're going to give to your kids as a present. It's one of those collectible things, too. We're going to try and find all those specific rarities, which is cool as well. And I like, of all the games I played, my favorite one is probably going to be the Crazy Bone one, in which you're trying to flick them and knock them apart. I like those games. I enjoy the little dexterity aspects to them. They all have kind of a dexterity feel to them, other than there's, like, the Domino's one. But uh, there's a plethora of other games that you can add. And I like the fact that they kind of added the die pips too to the side here so you can actually roll the guys as well. And they can actually roll standing up too if, uh, if you're lucky enough. But overall, it's a fun little thing. It's a toy, right? It's a toy that kind of mimics a game as well. It has those little game components. And so it's going to work well for people who enjoy set collection, people who enjoy small mini games that involve dexterity, and specifically for kids. Overall, I would definitely have my kids play with this. Probably just old enough to where they're not going to be chewing and swallowing them. And just just young enough when they're not going to be playing the more thicker board games that have in our industry. Overall though, check it out in the description below and see if you like it. I personally do recommend this for smaller audiences, definitely a fun one. Abatons.